It is time to start revving those engines. The Detroit Grand Prix kicks off tomorrow and it is going to be the last time the race is held on Bell Isle. Can you believe it before it moves downtown back downtown next year? This morning we want to give you an up close and personal look into all of the action and everything that's happening between now and tomorrow. So joining us this morning, the current Indy Lights champion Kyle Kirkwood, who is competing this weekend. Thanks for being here. That is correct. Yeah, we're going to have a fantastic weekend. The weather's looking great. Bell Isle is one of our favorite tracks that we go to yeah and it's because there's so many different dynamics that that go into that track and it's kind of like a road course that goes to very tight street courses mm -hmm. it's a very high commitment track that has smooth sections yet very bumpy so it's it's hard to get the car in the right place because we're doing a lot of setup changes mm -hmm. throughout the weekend but um now this is one of our best events i love coming here i raced here last year in indy lights and won two races actually yeah and now this weekend i'm going to be doing double duty between sports cars which is in a lexus rcf gt3 car and also an indy car in the number 14 rocket chevrolet so needless to say you're pretty excited I am. It's going to be a busy weekend, to say the least, um, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, we're going to have a lot of people out there. I know we just had the Indy 500, so it's been busy. Right. We're going to have another weekend, and then after that, we go to Wisconsin. So, um, But like I said, this is one of our favorite races of the year. Uh, you just drove up here from Indy, in fact. That is correct. Well, what yeah, is actually, it like? I drove up last night. Yep. What is it like for you going from competing on the racetrack to then having to drive the streets? At the speed limit. That's a very common question <laughs> that I get. Um, it's um, it's so it's so much different in a race car. The car is so much faster. You have to be very precise. I'd say the most common misconception that people that people think about when they talk to a race car driver is uh -huh. you're driving crazy out there. That's not what it is at all. We're very calculated. It all comes down to science and math and physics that we're trying to get the car very, very fast. And then I get in a road car and it doesn't feel anything like a race car. So I don't, I actually drive pretty slow if you, if you ask me. But be honest, Kyle, when was the last time you got a speeding ticket? Um, it was actually in a school zone in Florida probably about two years ago. Two years? When, how when fast I, did it, how I think fast? it was like 35 and a 20 when the speed limit's actually usually 35. Oh. So I, don't, okay. I actually don't speed that much. Okay. Uh, <laughs> listen, so you said that you were here last year on yes. Belt Isle. This is actually going to be the last year that it's on Belt Isle before it moves back to the streets of Detroit. Any, uh, any feelings towards that? You know, it's, um, I would have to say I really enjoy the track that's on Belt Isle. Mm-hmm. But it kind of it's it's pretty tough for people to get out to the racetrack. Okay. So having it in downtown is going to make it a lot more accessible yeah. for fans and for us as teams as well. Um, I would I don't know how the track's going to be in downtown. I know it's very very good on Belle Isle mm -hmm. and the event's always awesome. Um, but IndyCar and Penske Corp does an awesome job of yeah. setting up all their venues and making it accessible for everyone, even though it is on Belle Isle. Very cool. And we're certainly excited for it. Real quick before I let you go, I want to know what kind of car does an Indy race car driver drive? On the daily basis? Yes. What do you drive? So I actually drive a Chevy Trail Boss truck. That's uh, what really what she, that's what Chevy gave me. And um, huh. I love driving it. Um, I'm big into surfing and fishing and diving. So it's uh, something I can throw all my surfboards and fishing okay. stuff in the back of. Dream car. Dream car. Oh, man. Um, I'm going to go with the new uh, Chevy Z06 that they just came out with. It was one of our pace cars at the Indy 500 this Very past nice. weekend. It actually kind of sounds like a Ferrari when it goes by. Okay. It's, it's a cool car. Well, very cool. Well, we're going to be rooting for you. And, of course, uh, just be careful on the lodge. Will do. There's a lot of police there. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Don't go speeding down there. Uh, listen, we have also have a friendly reminder for you as we uh, toss it over to Brandon. Local 4 Plus is your home for this weekend's Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix. There's a, a charity event that kicks off race weekend. We're going to be bringing you all of the action on Local 4 Plus. Bernie, Jamie, and Indy car driver Tony Kanaan is going to be joined live by all of the biggest names in racing and the auto industry here in Detroit. The Grand Premier, that is Friday at 645, again, streaming on Local 4 Plus. And then on Sunday at 7 p.m., join us for a special edition of Local 4 News live from Belle Isle following the race. It is the last one on the island.